Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new to my channel, I usually do videos on luxury bags, contemporary bags, reviews, um, style, um, shoes, jewelry, whatever, whatever's in my closet. Uh, it's October, and I am a huge Halloween fan. So, before I get into my uh, bag of the day, I just want to ask, does anyone know of a good cosmetic surgeon that does rhinoplasty? You know, she's, she, she Winnie, Winnie. All my witches I buy in home goods, except for this little doll. Check this little doll out. I bought this in the mall about 20 years ago. There was like a booth in the center and they were selling all kind of dolls. This woman was from Pennsylvania and couldn't resist. Look at this face, look at that. She's wearing a Halloween costume. She has a little chick, trick treat, treat candy bag. Love it. Love it. Love Halloween. Let me show you. Uh, get this out of the way. She is a real beaut. Of course, <laughs> I never really noticed the nose. She sits. Her legs dangle and she just sits on a shelf or wherever. But look at, look at her nose. You know, <laughs> I don't, I, uh, I love this. I love this witch. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. You think they did that on purpose? Oh, you're going to have to. Excuse my lighting. It's uh, day four of mist and dark and cloudy. So, you know, anyway, I love her. She's so cute with the glasses, but you know, she, could, she could use a little bit of a, a nose job. I got one more. If you've seen my other videos, I had other witches in my background. Um, so I'm just going to show one more because she's also a real, a real cutie, a real cutie. Oh, wait, I do have another one. I have one more, actually, I didn't bring to the table, but next time. Um, she, she, look how pretty, look how pretty the outfit is. She also sits flat. Um, she has a bit of an issue, too. Look at the nose. <laughs> Um, bent carrot syndrome. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, oh, look, she has a little bat hanging from her. Very cute. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Um, I've collected those through the years. I don't, I just didn't go buy, you know, 10 dolls. I always buy like maybe one each year, a new one each year. Um, this year I got something different. I wanted something very fall like on my dining room table. So at Home Goods, I bought this. It's a salad bowl. <laughs> it's a salad bowl with metal handles because I have a lot of, um, like my dining room light is very um, rustic. So it's metal and wood. And I have a, a clock on the wall that's metal and wood. So I got this. It's a salad bowl. This stuff came separate. These little um, pumpkins, the like velvet, were separate in a bag and then the other pine cones and everything was a separate bag. Um, and they have a smell of like cinnamon. So it really, really smells nice. So I just put this on the middle of the table. It's just so cute. And I bought cinnamon essential oil from Amazon. Smells amazing to drizzle on there when the smell starts to die out because it does after like a, a week or two or three. You just put a little bit of uh, 
essential oil on there and it'll smell in. I love it. Okay, anyway, it's Halloween month and I bought this bag from The Real Real like two years ago with the intention of just wearing it in October. I don't know why. <laughs> It was my only purchase from The Real Real. This was two years ago, before I was making videos, before I was actually collecting. I mean, I had a handful of luxury bags, um, but they were very few and far between. This might have even been three years, like before the pandemic. But I wanted a bag that would go really great in October. So this is what I got from The Real Real. I don't know if you can really tell because my my coloring, my lighting is horrible, but it's orange. It's a real orange. It's Michael Kors. You see the lights, it's, it's flashing. Nothing's flashing in here. It's the computer. It's an orange bag. It has an adjustable, detachable crossbody strap. It's gold hardware. It has this really pretty lock in gold. You could see that. Really pretty. Um, the I I think I paid like a hundred and fifty. I can't get the strap off. <laughs> um, here you go. The clips are swivel, and they even um, say Michael Kors on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It might be upside down. I can't tell without my glasses. And um, I thought it would be great for October because I wanted um, an orange bag. Never had an orange bag. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a bag color that I wouldn't... Not that you can't get use out of orange. You could wear orange all year round. I know that. Orange is beautiful in the summer. It's beautiful in the winter. Any, But I was had it in mind that it's for October. So it has feet. It was in almost perfect condition. Again, I never bought from pre-loved before. I really didn't, I didn't know what the real real was. I might've saw a commercial and I said, oh, you know, not knowing, oh, is it gonna be authentic? If it's not, you know, I just, I don't know any of that stuff. I didn't know anything like that back then. Um, so I'm assuming it's authentic. <laughs> um, it's a great capacity. It has a great capacity. It has big pockets on either side and a center zip. A center zip with another zip pocket inside. I mean, that's the thing with Michael Kors bags. They have a lot of um, space and compartments and stuff like that. Um, I don't buy Michael Kors any, I haven't bought, well I did, I bought a little, the mini Phoebe drawstring because it's so cute and tiny. It's a tiny little bucket bag. Um, drawstring bucket, so I bought that. Um, and I have this one, and I have my white Michael Kors bag that I've been using for years that I'm trying to sell. Nobody's interested. Um, so I have this. Let me just show you real quick. Works in the crook of the arm. Crossbody. It's a little big for crossbody. I'm I'm only 5'1 and I'm small framed. So big bags that are crossbody, they don't really work for me, but this is what it looks like. I wouldn't wear a crossbody, it's just too big for me. And also the, the handles don't lay down, so you know it's like right up in my boob. But anyway. The flashing light. I feel like I'm in the movie Fame when when the guy is sitting um, in his apartment near the window and he's really sad and depressed and he's flickering the light or the neon light from outside. It's, it's just whatever. It's bizarre. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not that crazy about this bag anymore. I, I used it last fall. A, you know, a few times in October. I used it the, the, the year that I got it. 
and I'm just not that crazy. I don't know if I could like it again or should I try and sell it? I, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, I just got a notice from, from, where was it from? from Poshmark, because I sell on Poshmark, that now you have to put a 1099 in for anything over $600. That's insane, um, because we're all, you know, the average American or uh, the, the, the middle class, $600? I mean, what is, this is like, like the IRS is becoming big brother, $600. I have to say, if I made $600, come on. Anyway, that's another topic. I may be going off a of Poshmark. I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just sell privately. But if anyone's interested, it's really a nice bag. It's great if you love orange. And I like orange, I do, but I'm not, I'm just not feeling that bag. Do you have a bag that you're not feeling? Uh, you haven't worn in a year? Like, I'm gonna make this a tag. And I'm also gonna put uh, Fuchsia Floyd, her channel down below, and Candy's Sweet Love for LV down below because I watched their video on 10 bags that get the job done and I was thinking, all my bags get the job done. I don't have special occasion bags. I don't do much. I don't have much of a life. <laughs> so, I, you know, every bag I have gets the job done in one way or another. So I said, well, what bag isn't getting the job done? I'm thinking that orange Michael Kors. It's just not getting the job done. But I want you to watch Candy's Sweet Love for LV video and Fuchsia Floyd's, and I'll link those channels down below because their videos are great, they're fun, they're down to earth, they're real, real women, and, and I, enjoy, I enjoy watching their videos, I enjoy talking to them, you know, through the, through the comments. So, jewelry of the day, real quick. I am still waiting for a piece, and I know Dawn, if you're watching, I'm not holding out on you. I just got the FedEx um, uh, notification yesterday that it should be arriving today. It says it's going to arrive today, so I'm assuming it'll be here today so I could do it on the weekend, my Lagos. Anyway, I am wearing my wedding set, my Movado watch, always wear Movado. I don't know if you heard that. My stomach's growling. I got to eat breakfast. I am wearing my brand new David Yerman ring. Funny story. I got it from Neiman Marcus. It didn't come with the David Yerman box. If you watched my unboxing, it didn't come with the David Yerman box or any papers. So I had gotten 10% off and 10% through Rakuten. So I said, okay, I'll make do without the box. Then I called Neiman Marcus yesterday and I complained. I said, how do you sell a designer piece with nothing with it? And they said, well, if you keep it, we'll give you an additional $50 off. I said, okay. <laughs> so I got this David Yerman, beautiful sterling silver and diamond ring for 150 off the original price. So I'm good with that. I'm wearing my diamond studs, uh, they're my go-to, and I got my little skeleton, my little Halloween skeleton on a black chain. Let me bring you closer. So you can see, I don't know if you're gonna see the sparkle. He's so pretty. He's all crystal. I got this in TJ Maxx, I think the year before last, he came on a silver chain. Let me move you back. But it was really long, like hanging on my belly because I'm so short. Um, so I didn't want it. So I just took him, him off the chain. I, this is a black chain. It's a metal chain. It's hard to tell. It looks like a rope chain, but it's a black chain. And again, you have to see him. How cute. How cute. And today I'm wearing my tennis bracelet, my diamond tennis bracelet. I forget that I have this. 
It's all diamonds in white gold. Um, this was my first diamond bracelet. I didn't have a diamond bracelet. I was uh, 32. It was right after 9-11. My husband is a retired New York City um, police detective. And I had once at the time of 9-11, my, my first son was two. And my husband was called to go there. He worked nights, so he didn't know what happened. He was sleeping when it happened in the morning. And he was called to go there, and he went there, and thank God he came home, but he didn't come home for about four days after that. And it was a horrific, horrific scene. And, you know, I wasn't working. I wanted to stay home with my two boys. They were young. Well, I didn't have my second son yet. So my son was two. I was a stay-at-home mom. He was a police detective. Um, at the time, he was a police officer. He didn't make detective yet. You know, police don't make good money. They make crap um, for what they do and what they have to deal with. Um, I didn't have a lot of jewelry. I didn't have any handbags. I might have had my first coach bag. Maybe not even. I think I got my first coach bag um, when I was like 35. I had that Fendi bag that I showed you guys that's destroyed that I got when before we were married in Atlantic City. That was like, I was like, I didn't even wear it because I thought it was actually ugly. I just bought it because it was a Fendi. In any case, the story is my husband came home that Christmas after September 11th, surprised me completely. Like three o'clock in the morning, he wakes me up and he hands me a box and it's this diamond bracelet. Um, and he said, and he said exactly this, after what I saw in Manhattan and what this world is coming to and what this country is going through, you only live once and I know you always wanted a diamond tennis bracelet. So here it is. I didn't ask questions. I just put it on. So yes, I've had it. It's um, about five carats, I think. It's absolutely magnificent. It was my first diamond bracelet ever, ever. And I was, like I said, about 32. Um, so, you know, all, all this stuff, the bags, I don't know, these young girls today, I don't know how they do it. Not me. This all started for me just, you know, in my, mid to late 40s and my real my bag collection really didn't start till about three four years ago um but anyway i've probably bored you enough went way over what i expected again sorry for my lighting it's another dreary day i just can't get a sunny day um i will see you guys on the weekend take care and have a great day